Emergency rooms and hospitals are getting overwhelmed with patients. We've heard of at least one forced to divert patients and others asking people not to come unless it's absolutely necessary. KCAL 9's Joy Benedict is live at Mission Community Hospital in Panorama City with more on what may be causing that backlog. Joy. Oh yeah, Juan, it's not one. There are 56 hospitals that have just a few moments ago that are asking ambulances not to come there, meaning they are on what's called a diverted or diversion status. Here at Mission Community Hospital, they are still open and receiving ambulances, but they say they don't have any beds because they are so saturated. And that has many ambulances driving around looking for a place to drop off patients. The problem isn't that there's so many people who are critically ill. The problem the problem is people are coming here who are not. First responders all over the area are sounding the alarm. If you need a COVID test, don't come to the ER. It makes me feel kind of helpless. Natalie Jimenez is an EMT for Amwest Ambulance Services. She says this week has been a nightmare for waiting to get her patients the help they need. At least two hours, two and a half hours when normally we would wait like 30 minutes max. It's called holding the wall when ERs and urgent cares are so packed, ambulances have to wait outside with patients in the back, those whose needs aren't considered life threatening. You know, you have grandma or grandpa that's at the local nursing home, and maybe there's an abnormal lab that they need to go to the ER and get treated for. Or maybe their G tube is clogged and they're not able to get the feeding treatment that they need. Hospitals and urgent care say the reason for the wait is because people are walking into ERs for services they could get elsewhere. I have a cough. I was with 20 family members for Christmas and uh, I think I have COVID. Can you please tell me? Oh man, we want to we want to get you that answer, but there's better resources for you to do that so that the people that are more critical can be seen and get the treatment that they need. ReadyNet monitors wait times, and this afternoon its app showed 52 facilities on diversion status in LA County, meaning they aren't taking new patients. I think we're going on three days upwards in that in that uh, number, and I believe that we're at uh, 66 facilities, so you're at 58 out of 66 right now that are on diversion. And urgent cares all over the area are showing wait times lasting several hours. People that are having shortness of breath or chest pain, worsening symptoms, those are the individuals that uh, should be coming to urgent care. You know? Dr. Cheryl Brown is the medical director of infectious prevention for Ultimate Health Services. And if you have mild symptoms, just presume that you may have COVID and I would isolate at home for the appropriate amount of time. Basically save the urgent care in the ER for those who truly need it. That's exactly right. EMTs like a menace are hoping people listen for when you truly need an ER. Waiting is the last thing you want to do. It's uncomfortable for the patient to be sitting on the gurney for like extended periods of time. It's really sad. It's very, very sad, especially when you need that help. And I got to say, it's not just the local community hospitals that are having a hard time. On that list earlier this afternoon, I saw UCLA Harbor, County USC, and several Kaiser hospitals that also were telling ambulances to find somewhere else to go. Guys.